just got off work. It's about time to get some stuff together. I actually have a buyer for the FP Green already, so let's go ahead and throw that all into a box. He's also taking the FP Manifold and something else. Oh, the OG Dump as well. So let's get those things. Oh my god, it smells like gasoline in here, probably because I left the fuel tank open there. I'm kind of scared. I should probably close that up. Tomorrow's Tune Day. Weird. Not exactly where I thought I'd be by Tune Day. So, we're just going to go ahead and start with that one. And then, we'll see. I mean, Ruben said he was going to come over this weekend. He didn't show up. <laughs> Which I get. He's a busy guy. I should probably grab some gloves. Uh huh. I cut my finger the other day, so... Definitely want to be a little more careful when working on stuff, especially it was actually on the FP green that my finger got cut. So I'm going to be extra careful today. What's nice is Ryan gave me this box. So I'm actually going to deliver everything within the box and not have to actually touch it. Turbo. So that's the dump pipe I was going to give him. Here's the lines. Go ahead and get that in there and we're pretty much calling it a day at that for at least that part of it um yeah let's try <laughs> let's try this put that in there nice got all your gaskets and then I'll put another piece of foam in here so I can put this on top Turns out, I have some foam. Let's see if we could just break off. <sighs> nice. Boom. Too easy. I wanted to go meet this dude to sell that FP turbo. Man, people are such flakes, man. He showed up and he looked at the thing. He's like, actually, I don't really want it. And he's just, keep in mind, this is the same dude who literally said, I will give you no hassle. I will give you this much cash. And I took a, a huge cut off of what I was asking. Because I was like, okay, no hassle. All good. He's getting everything in this box for less than you could get the turbo for. And he's getting the turbo, the downpipe, everything, right? Didn't want it. I was like, dude, stop wasting my time. But here's what it is. We're going to wrap up working on the Evo, hopefully, here today. Um, at least everything in the engine bay, except for the fuel lines and that kind of stuff. Um, I might have everything I need for it. I bought some crow's feet wrenches, but I don't know if that will actually do the job. I haven't recorded much. It's really dark under the car, but I ended up getting the V-band for the downpipe on. I ended up getting the oil return line back on. So uh, intercooler piping has been rerouted a little bit, or at least one of these uh, <clears throat> couplers has been replaced so that it actually fits right. So this is the state of the car. Probably can't see too much here. Um, but there's the turbo and the manifold and everything. I'll get under the car here. So there's the downpipe and all of that. Yeah, it's looking pretty good under here, except for I just lost the crow's foot that I was trying to use to take off the uh, oil or the fuel feed line. So tried using a snaking magnet and it didn't work. It took a second, but I finally got it. And you guys can't see shit down there, but uh, this is a solid victory for us. Oh, yes, finally the fuel line. Now we can install the radium stuff up in the front. And then basically all we have to do is put in the double pumper, get it wired properly and course there's a checklist I drain the oil and the coolant so I'll have to add coolant add oil um, 
put the spark plugs in, or not the spark plugs, uh, put the injectors in, and we should be able to start the car. All right, pulling out the fueling. This is what the OEM rail looks like compared to the radium stuff. So quite a bit bigger, and I don't actually know where exactly this mounts to. I think against the firewall potentially. That would be nice. So yeah, it's super nice and clean. Let's go ahead and try to install this now. So if I'm looking at all this and doing it right, which I, yeah, there we go. So this line should actually be this line. So I did that wrong, I think. Or maybe that's just how that goes. Hmm. Okay, I, f I figured it out. So this line that feeds into the fuel pressure regulator is this line because it has no T on it or the actual fitting on it. So that goes through here and then into our fuel pressure regulator comes into here and then this is the fuel return, which is, this is the return. It's just swapped because they cross the lines. Such an interesting thing. So that should be the setup. And then we got to figure out all the little wiring and all that other stuff. So, I don't know what this is, what it does, where it goes, but lucky for me, Ryan actually labeled everything. So it says to calm at sensor. Uh, have no idea what that means, but to ground at chassis firewall. Well, I know what that means. Now figuring out all this other stuff. There's a, whatever this thing is. There's a lot going on here. I have no idea what is going on here. I've got to find myself a longer 10 mil. Isn't this long enough? And it doesn't have a double stack of washers, so I should be good. Take the whole bag just in case. Sometimes you just never know. Um, yeah, we're gonna mount this thing like in the back right here, the FPR. So let's throw that there for now and see if we can't get this thing on there. Um, I think this is how this sits. Wrong way, put it in the wrong way, okay. Oh no, it fell out, dang it. Oh my goodness, I dropped it again. <sighs> tight, make it tight. There you go. Okay, don't lose this dude, leave that there. All right, let's see if it fits this time. Ugh. Much better, although the ratchet's gone. There we go. Let's see if this will actually like <laughs> mount, because I cannot get anything to work for me today. So, let's see. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, nope, nope. This is not looking so hot. Ladies and gents, this is not going so hot. Okay. Second choice would be where? <laughs> I don't know a good spot to put this thing. All right, so I lost that 14 mil crow's feet. And uh, I guess that's just a foot, huh? Crow's foot. And Zon said he can dig it out. I've been looking for a while. Yeah, I'm just saying shit. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, Bring so I'm gonna. I'm assuming you checked the ground already. Yeah, so we down here where that fitting is right there. What fitting? That green one right there. And it went one? straight down and Turn then fucking bounced around. So yeah, that's where it was. So yeah. sorry, it's a fucking mess in here. I've. Uh, that's what progress looks like, brother. Been fucking yes. balls deep in this shit. I've been balls deep in shit. Never mind. Um, oh. What are you doing, dog? I'm getting myself a leg seven. up. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you. Hmm. Zon, what the fuck are you I'm doing, getting, my man. guy? This is an OSHA violation for show. Sure. I only got one slide on. Yeah, well. What was. Give me the background. What happened when you dropped it? I had the vice grips on the top bolt, and then I had I was trying to loosen the bottom bolt. Did I the used. Green one? Yeah. Okay. So the top one was the green one, but it was the OEM line, so it wasn't green. It had that freaking impact on an extender down to the crow's foot. 
to be on the 14 to and that, bust it loose. With the extendo to get just right here, right? Okay. So it must have bounced somehow, but it, would, it had momentum. You know what I mean? So it could be anywhere at this point. Ground, I did check the ground, and I also used two different magnets to magnet? fish. Yeah, I fished. Would you like a telescopic one? Yeah. yeah. All right, time to work on this mess of things. But they are very well labeled. So let's go ahead and tear this thing apart. Nice. All those cut up. Okay, so one says top of wastegate, and one says side of wastegate. And we're gonna go that one to the side. Oh, come on, you can do it. Get on there. Okay, and the other one's the top of the wastegate. Oh, wait, this is the OEM. One, okay, so this one goes down to there. Let's see how that goes down to there. And then one goes to the top whiskey, which is this one. Ooh. That goes somewhere. Nice, that one. Feels like it was designed to fit. Where does this go? Where should we put it? Rather, this needs to go to math plug. So up there, and then red with yellow. So I realized I just stopped filming in the middle of this, but um, I'm editing it now. And basically, I did end up splicing into both of the OEM math plugs. I basically just cut the two plugs off completely and then mashed the exact wires that I needed to and then kind of zip tied everything along the coolant line rail or radiator right there and then so the actual boost solenoid uh, sits now inside the engine bay closest to the math plugs and then the actual um, <clears throat> the flex fuel that also wires down into there so everything kind of just made sense after they were placed in the right places everything kind of routed to the right spots so i got all of that done and yeah that's basically where we left off in this video so if you guys enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace